Uh, hello everyone who's uh, got here early. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the uh, <clears throat> Razor Blade 14 today. We'll be getting started in just a few minutes here uh, once some people join in and uh, everyone starts to arrive. I'll be announcing the stream shortly on Discord here to get everyone in. And uh, yeah, uh, we're taking a look at the... <clears throat> I'll just get everything started once we've got a few viewers here. We'll be getting started in just a minute here. I am going to call that long enough. Uh, we're just going to get started with the seven viewers we have right now. And here we are. So, interestingly, with... Uh, excuse the dust absolutely everywhere. Um, my room is just dusty and we have cats and stuff. So, um, <clears throat> Yeah, so you can see here that the Blades box is really pretty unassuming. At least this... Uh, first release of the Blade 14. Uh, it's just like quite literally a black box uh, with no real anything on it. It kind of looks like a press sample. Um, I do have uh, if you if you were here for the Vision 15 stream, you would have seen the white box that that laptop came in from Intel, and this laptop just kind of is reminiscent of that. You know, this side of the box too. I mean completely bare the only razor branding on this box i mean there's thx here which is not really razor um 
but this is the Razer branding on this box. It's literally just this sticker that says Blade 14 on it. So, you know, I'm not sure why that's the case. It's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah. So, hopefully we didn't get scammed. And uh, let's just open the laptop up. Now, I'm going to do this live on stream here because I, I don't want anyone to be like, oh, well, Code Husky broke it or something. Okay, and uh, this one. There's our Razer branding. It's right here. Engineered and designed by Razer in California. I guess that's to try and avoid people stealing it. <laughs> Elliot. <coughs> Um, but yeah, so that's that's where we first see Razor, and uh, there's our Puffy. So I don't know if this is like a standard Razor unboxing experience to just have a laptop and kind of like a commercial type shipper like this. Um, we got a charger here, wrapped in bubble wrap like crazy, which is fine. Now. Ah, there's our razor box. This is a little bit more branded, and I do think this is probably just to avoid porch pirates or something. <coughs> I don't know why else they would, you know, do that. All right. Is my, my camera's crooked? That's nice. There. Okay, camera's not crooked anymore, but yeah, boxception. Uh, so let's get this open. Of course. And there it is. Razor's commitment to sustainability. We believe that giving gamers the unfair advantage shouldn't come at a cost to the planet and our switch to greener packaging is just one of the many steps we've taken well we'll see how eco-friendly the laptop is but uh yeah let's get her out of there now i'm just gonna get this out of the sleeving you can see immediately, there's our fans through the vents. So already better than any Asus we've looked at. And you can see this here. We're going to talk about this. It's very interesting. <clears throat> but first impressions just immediately out of the box. You know, feels about as good as any MacBook I've ever held. So, you know, typical Razer in that regard. Otherwise, in the box here, we have documentation probably. Um, anything under here? No. Okay, so documentation. Uh, but we do have the charger, which we will have to plug in. Asus makes you buy sus laptops. Looks about the same as last year's blade. Yeah, yeah, probably. Wouldn't doubt that they would uh, use similar design. Uh, so one thing that came up while I was talking about talking to people about this laptop pre-stream uh, was that maybe AMD was somehow involved in the design of this machine. And you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt that personally. Uh just given how strange it is that Razer's just suddenly releasing this AMD laptop out of nowhere. <clears throat> but you know, we won't know until someone asks. So I might email an AMD rep I know and see if they know, but as far as I know this isn't a design and collaboration type thing, so Charger's almost ready to go now. Something worth note that's nice about this particular charger they sh 
sent me with this model. It's actually got a braided cable. Um, I know that some of the other blades in the past, they've had issues where the cable was actually cracking and then the wires became exposed on the cable and could short. Uh, that is not going to be a problem with this cable. So luckily, we don't have to worry about that particular fault. <coughs> so yeah, let's get this plugged in. Power bricks feels premium enough. Uh, manufacturer of this is Razer, probably. Shenzhen Honor Electronics. Okay. <coughs> So not Razer, but it's a Razer design. Yeah, it's a good design change to use braided cables. I I don't I have not seen another company do it, but more should because that's actually a good idea. Braided cables are quite based. Now today we're gonna see if we can uh, overload my power strip, as is the usual goal. You can see that uh, the power brick has a little green LED there. It tells you that it's got power, which is good. Just check to make sure that it's working. And uh, as you can see, we have Razer's like USB-C looking connector here. That's actually a proprietary charger end. Um, but yeah. Oh, is mine actually bent out of the box? Indeed, indeed, it is bent out of the box. So I'm going to have to call Razer up during the stream and request a new charger. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, it's already off to a uh, wonderful start here. Bent charger. <clears throat> That's a better shot even. Cool. Well, let's get this plugged in with our bent charger. Uh, first, let's just open it. And yeah, looks nice and attractive. It's got a fun chromatic sticker. Get my light out of the way. Let me actually level the camera now that I have a flat edge to kind of base on. Holy crap. This camera is horribly unlevel. Oh my god. There we go. That's better foreshadowing yeah hope not uh luckily those you know chargers are made on a different assembly line so it's unlikely that we'll have two faults in a row but i've been surprised before i should note that i don't really like the look of the charger either but um let's get this sticker off sticker removed do you guys want to see me remove these two stickers too make it look all nice let, let me know let's get this plugged in here make an effort to route it properly yeah as you can see here the cable even inside the laptop is uh kind of angled wrong you can see how it kind of parts so uh that's strange i wonder if i can force it straight nope just full-on factory defect there, but that's okay. It's just a charger. As long as it works, it works, so. Not too big of a concern there. Do it. Okay. Um, I'll show you guys how I remove stickers. I have a little short video recorded on this, but uh, it's fairly easy. Just take something, you push up on one corner. And then you just kind of peel it up. If you get the adhesive that wants to stay, you know, on the metal, which uh, you can, uh, you see how that adhesive is clinging to the metal? You can just kind of roll it back down and just rock it back and forth until it comes up. And if it still is not coming up after doing that, you just take the sticker off all the way and then do that. And it should slowly start to peel off. 
You can even twist it. Now, if it doesn't come off, I mean, you can always just push it with your finger and then pull it off. Just kind of do the same thing still. Push it into like a one central spot. There you go. Get the rest of that off. And now, you can't even tell it was there. Except for, you know, <laughs> the little tiny bits of glue left. Oh, you want you want to hear the sticker peel? Okay. Where's my uh <laughs> There you go. There. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. <coughs> yeah, and so that spot is just, you know, metal that doesn't have skin oil. So, all gone. Now, there's just a, t just a tiny bit of a uh, piece of left. But now, I mean, looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> all right anyway we've uh dilly dallied long enough let's get this thing going so lights on immediately that's a good sign razor logo we did it ours ours booted booyah So that's check number one. People have gotten blades before where they don't boot. So, you know, I'm not just being a meme about it. Can you check the cor check if it's sharp at the corner of the trackpad? Eh, a little sharper than I'd prefer for a trackpad to be, but it's not, like, notable, I would say. But yeah, I mean, overall, looks good. But, I mean, did you think the razor blade was going to look bad? I don't think so. The most I really can fault the design on is just the green USB ports and the logo. But, I mean, like, okay. <laughs> razor support probably says if it doesn't boot, download the bot. Yeah. Finally live. I know, I'm sorry. UPS took a decade. Any plan for the G15? Seems to have a lot of QC issues. Well, I mean, I reviewed the G14 and said the same thing. So um, there's my review for the G15. I wouldn't recommend it because of quality control problems. Is there charging ports on both sides? Uh, no, unfortunately. Now, I do wish that this charger was not like 90 degree because you have a type A port there. And like, I mean, sure, you can flip it around. But if it was just straight cable, it would probably be better. Um, but, you know, maybe more people prefer this. I don't care a lot. I mean, Razor, do whatever the hell you want. But that's just my input is, you know, it's probably better to just have a bi-directional, like, straight out thing. That doesn't require a whole lot of fiddling to not block a USB port or something. It's not that important, though. I wouldn't, like, compromise anything for that, so. People found out methods to get really good thermals, like, under 80 on CPU. Uh, tell you what. Uh, if you're focused on getting 80 degrees Celsius in a gaming laptop, you're probably going after the wrong thing. Because, uh, 80 degrees Celsius on a gaming laptop's not much. And why is this taking so long? Have we ever had a computer take this long to get into setup? I don't think so. Usually it's like it powers on and then it's just in. 
Straight cable moves the laptop around more easily, I think, with that strong. Yeah, that's true. Could you read us the joke from the Scholastic book? Yeah, we can do that. Might as well. It's taking like a decade. It's booting. It's just taking its time. All right, so give me a number 1 to 96, okay? Actually, 5 to 96. Any number from 5 to 96. First number I see that's valid, I'll just go with it. Sure, 5. Actually, let's see. Have I read 5 before? No. Okay. So, page 5. Uh... Under the computer comedy section. Where do cool mice live? In mouse pads. Aha. Aha. Ha. All right. <laughs> we'll read another one uh, once we're installing Windows. But, uh, yeah. So, let's just go through the install together. Screen is nice. I'm immediately noticing the response time is quite good. Which we will talk about shortly because... Shut up, Cortana. Because uh, because uh, Jared's tech actually did the measurements already, uh, and I think he might have mentioned them in a video, but um, they're on his website, and we'll be chatting about that briefly. So, according to the sticker I removed, this is a 165 hertz screen. It's 1440p, 16 by 9, obviously. <laughs> uh, oh, I should put my book back. I'm ruining the set, guys. <coughs> Uh, we also, um, yes, <clears throat> we'll skip the Wi-Fi for now so that I can just type my name because I don't want to reveal my phone number again. Notice that I'm saying again. Uh, but yeah, 165 hertz, 1440p panel seems to be quite responsive. Uh... I think it's like 300 nits, but it might be 400. I, I don't know. I remember seeing numbers that were like more around 350. So, <laughs> so while this gets set up, if this takes too long, well, I'll just read another one. So I'm going to say 72 from Blake Irvin. Oh, what is this? Is this just credits? What is this? Oh, it's okay. So these are joke. These are joke names of computer presidents. Um, we have Abram Abr Abmodum Lincoln and John Quincy Apples. <laughs> Funny stuff. <laughs> this book is ridiculous. The only reason I have it on screen is because I just it's so it's so bad. It's it's bad, but I, I just love it because it's it's trying really hard to be funny. And it probably was funny, but it's not funny anymore at all. Will we be testing thermals today? Yeah we will. Uh, yeah, so here we are. Uh, let's get the brightness down. And, uh, we'll get on the Wi-Fi here. Whoa. You guys saw my monitor. Uh-oh. There we go. I said to get on the Wi-Fi. So let's let everything update here. Um, I don't really want to sign the Razor Center right now. I'll just continue as guest. So you think the G14 won't last four years. I mean, I... I would not be, like, counting on it. So, yeah, we have per key RGB. Pretty awesome. But for the price point, I would hope so. 
Oh, it looks like it's up. <laughs> it just it just booted us to install an update. That's all right. There we go. A little better. Let's check uh, Windows for updates too. Windows is not activated. What? <laughs> okay, we'll wait a few minutes. I hope Windows is activated. I don't want to have to <laughs> activate Windows on stream. You might just have to reboot. Which is fine. Not going to be that much of a pain in the neck about basic stuff if it just needs a reboot, so. Oh, that's a lot of updates. All right. Yeah, so we're going to be here for a little bit. Yeah, well, TA, I know. I think the stream's kind of behind today for some reason. I don't know why. Weird. Maybe I lost access to uh, ultra low latency or something. Uh, there we go. Synapse. Uh, so people hate Synapse. Um, which I assume is because it's bad software. But this is probably one of the better pieces of software I've seen <laughs> for an OEM. At least uh, user experience wise. But... As we have learned uh, through these live streams, user experience is an engineering thing. And, uh, well, it's not an engineering thing. It's a uh, marketing thing. And the engineering can come short. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see. It doesn't look like you can update anything through Synapse, I guess. Or maybe I have to click here. No. Dude, I, I have no idea where <laughs> what I'm looking for here. Uh, lighting, performance. Whoa, 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 dude. Plugged in. I can have manual fan control. That's awesome. I want high fans. Can I switch between 60 and 165? I can. Are we on high fans? I, I mean, I can't hear anything over the AC and the fan in my house right now. Oh, yeah, the, the fans are on. I can't... There. Yeah, that's really quiet. That is surprisingly quiet, actually. I, I didn't think it would be that quiet, but... Yeah. Alright, so let's stop messing around. Uh, we're going to be doing some stress testing really shortly here. I have my work drive with me, which has a bunch of games, too, so we'll be able to run some games. We'll also be running the Tomb Raider benchmark at 1080p so that we can yeah, we can compare Jared's 3080 results. And yeah, uh, while we're waiting for Windows Update to take a decade, uh, let's talk about the response time. So I'm going to pull this up from uh, Jared's data set. Jared's tech... List of laptop response times. Oh, looks like the updates are almost done. Uh, we'll go to Razor Blade. Oh, there we go. All right, so Jared's measurements. He has 353 nits of brightness. This has 100% sRGB with 82% Adobe RGB coverage. And an 8.75 millisecond greater grade response time. Uh, with a 12.16 millisecond 0 to 255 to 0. So gray to gray is going from like a light to dark to light gray, um, which is slower. Um, but that's that's a thing. Oh yeah, we should see if Windows is activated now. What the hell? <laughs> Why is it not activated still? We've been on the internet for a few minutes now. Oh, God. <laughs> Why? Um. Well, 
Let's just let's just reboot Windows fully, like just with oh, update and restart. Sure. Well, let's uh, actually let's just restart directly. Yeah, Windows is trolling. Come on, guys. But yeah, so an 8.75 millisecond response time. Actually, let's go with the worst case. 12.16. 12.16. And we're going to put that over a thousand. Well, 1,000 divided by 12.16. So that's like 82 FPS that are going to be perfectly crystal clear for that type of response. But graded gray wise, which is usually what I use, then it's more like 114. So personally, I mean, that that's not perfectly ideal response wise. Uh, but since this is 14 inch and it is better than the G14... I will say that that is way, way better than, uh, you know, I could have hoped it was. Um, you know, I was just hoping it would be as good as the G14 screen, if not better. Um, but this is definitely proving to be a better screen in general. I do like this screen more. Just off the bat. It's a really good response time. Yeah, it is. It really is. Um, but I think everything's up to date now. So... Let's get to stress testing, everybody. So, I'm just going to turn the computer so that I can do stuff here. No. Please, just let me use Edge. Ada64. Now, the keyboard immediately after just using it for, like, 2.5 nanoseconds, it does seem pretty decent. I don't know if I would say it's, like, you know perfect but you know there's nothing wrong with it it's just a pretty standard like it feels like uh like a idea pad. i'm being too critical here it's it feels like an idea pad keyboard um with a bit more tactility which you know is what you want in a gaming laptop and we'll, we'll have to test the keys here too just to be 100 percent certain because i i don't want to have to deal with a 2200 dollars system uh, with uh broken crap on it so um Let's just go to key tester. <laughs> Here we are on my favorite key testing website. Left control, right control, left alt, right alt, space, letters, shift enter, da da. This, 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 this. Windows. Um, looks like it's working. Cool. Great. No problems. Uh, also. Eh. It's got similar stability issues to the G14, but it's nowhere near as bad. It's harder to get that actual, like, response out of the keycaps when you're pushing it. You can kind of dance it, but, you know, the fact that I do still get, like, a keystroke out of it by pushing the key and getting it to click most of the time is enough for me to just not fault it too hard. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, I should actually show that with my hands. You know, I'm pushing on the very edge. That's just a worst case, which you probably wouldn't do on this keyboard. But, like, you know, if I'm in the middle... There's no way I can press this key without typing, which is ideal. The G14, you can do it without typing. Um, this one, the only way you could do that is by really specifically pushing on, like, the corner of this key, which, you know, not you're not going to do, like, 90% of the time, if not more. So, uh, overall, good pass on the keyboard. Feels good for 14-inch, so. Props. <coughs> so. Next, Ada64. Uh, we are going to run a memory benchmark first because everyone loves those. Not really, but we're going to run one. Just why not? And that'll tell us a little bit about the RAM in this system. It's CL22-3200 like most systems are. Actually, since I <laughs> haven't activated this, this is not even going to be useful. Can't stop it now, though. Once this is done, I'll fire up the stress test. 
And then we'll play games. We'll play games. What games do you guys want to start on first? What's the peak brightness of this screen? Uh, Jared measured the brightness at 350. It's supposed to be 300 nit. It's a little bit brighter than that. Um, so. It's somewhere between 400 nit and 300 nit. So. I really wish I could stop this test right now. But I cannot. Trackpad feels good. Alright, can I stop the test, please? I, <laughs> exit, exit, please. Siege, R6, you got Warzone. No. Sorry, guys, I don't have many of those titles. But, I do have mice. I have computer mice. And I also have my external drive bay. What laptop do I currently use for work and gaming? Uh, currently for work, I'm transitioning from my Core 14 to the Legion 5 Pro I have. Uh, the 3071, not the 3061 that I had to return. Um, and for gaming, I just use the 5 Pro almost exclusively. It, it does literally anything I throw at it, so... Some FPS, I guess. Okay. But, uh... Here's your memory speeds. Well, some of them. And cool, I don't know. <laughs> Just close that. Let's get the stress test up and running. We'll also open up Synapse to make sure we're in the right thermal mode. Because I think there's multiple, isn't there? Performance. Custom. Boost. Hi. Uh, we'll just put these on both on high and we'll look at boost later. Wait, I can't adjust the fan speed when it's like... That's weird. Okay. Unified. And we'll make this taller. Just bigger. Oh, I don't have a GPU load. I have to get a GPU load, guys. Tech power... Heaven. Do you plan on to do reviews on many PCs? I, I would like to, but um, there's just not a lot of uh, options there. There's like four. And uh, they tend to be kind of cost prohibitive, just value-wise. Plus, they don't really resell very easy, so it's... <clears throat> you know it's 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 difficult to justify putting the money into them just because I, I don't know how many people are actually interested in those things I like them but um, if no one really cares then it's just not really relevant to do videos on them I would just rather play with them personally <clears throat> you know so let's get ha let's get heaven open. Oh, I'm missing MSV CP 100. Okay, let's get that downloaded. Uh, I don't think these links work. This one does. Oh boy, I'm super zoomed in. Do you think the Razer 3060 is still worth it if I don't get the 3070? Like, you think the QHC would be that useful? Uh, no, but I haven't seen the 60 hertz or whatever screen. I haven't seen the full HD screen tested, so it might be kind of bad. Another version is pro- what? Oh, I'm missing like a 32-bit one? What? Oh, it must be the wrong package. Oh, yeah, it's the 2015 one. <sighs> Visual C++ 2010 redistributable. Mm. 
No, I don't want to sign in. <laughs> this is really annoying. I have to do this every time though, so it's that's whatever. Oh yeah, this looks more familiar. Just down the X eighty six one, yeah. It's hundred forty four hertz, yeah. It's supposed to be a gaming mode in Synapse? Maybe. I didn't see it. I just <laughs> I literally just see balanced and custom. Is it because it's too small of a window? I, I don't know. I, maybe I'm just miss. I, I, dude, I have no idea. We just have balanced and custom. I, uh. Did I install x86? Yeah, I think I did. Microsoft download page so annoying. Yeah. I have Legion 5 with 1400H and 2060. I'm concerned a peak CPU temperature is around 90 degrees. What should I do? Is this normal? Um, I wouldn't worry about it. Because peak temperatures are not too relevant. If you just have, like, high average temperatures, then that's reason for kind of concern. But if it's just 90, I mean, that's on the higher end, but it's not awful. So I wouldn't really be too concerned. And also, um, this laptop's explaining why I don't really like 1440p um, on a 14-inch. Because I can't read anything. Anyway, oh god, I accidentally started that in wind, uh, full screen mode. That's not what I wanted to do. This does have IR sign in, which is something I wanted to use because I really don't like typing a password in. And if it has IR sign in, I mean, that's big props for me because I like having passwords, you know? So we'll run this at 1440p and cram it in the corner. And now let's run our CPU test too. Also, I should probably add the GPU wattage to Unified. GPU watts 100. Okay, so. The top is a hundred. Um, I should also probably add our GPU temperature here if I can. Do we have a GPU temp? We do. GPU is at like 83. We're currently at about 90, 87 watts. The CPU is running at about seven, 47 watts fans are cranked up high you can definitely you can definitely hear them though so I guess high fans earlier wasn't actually max fans or something like that but yeah I mean honestly at the temps we're getting right now I mean we're still below 100 and uh Dude, 90 watt, 47 watt, that is nothing to scoff at. And let's see if we can actually get the GPU wattage up higher. We'll just set the CPU to medium. You can see it drops to about 34. And that should cause our GPU. Yep, GPU is running at above 90 now sometimes. Ah, oh, looks like it bounced back up. We'll set the CPU back to low. That should get the GPU up there. <laughs> if it will stop boosting. There we go. Now the CPU is trying to settle in around 36 watts, which is still above where I'd like it to be for, like, good old boost GPU power. Eh, we're stuck at, like, 90 still. I was actually looking the, the, at the uh, CPU temperature there for a second, which is not what I wanted to do. Let's set this to boost. What is boost going to do? Oh. That makes us run as hard as possible. 
the keyboard warm. Yeah, like in the middle, but I mean, WASD is cool and this side's cool, so that's good. Which we'll talk about shortly. And also, those spikes you're seeing in GPU there, that's probably just heaven loading a new scene. It's kind of a bad stress test, you know. Yeah, it's <laughs> literally just lagging to load a new scene. There we go. The CPU is basically pinning around 100. Whoa, what is going on, heaven? We might have to switch to Furmark at some point. Is the game running? Uh, no, we have a GPU benchmark running below here that keeps the GPU queued up. Okay, so GPU is at 90 watts, CPU is at around 50 watts, and I mean, we're cooking. <clears throat> Everything is hot, but the fact that, you know, this is functional and not throttling to death on a 14-inch chassis is impressive. CPU at 100, yeah, it's at 100. This SOC can hand handle 105, so, you know, that's okay. <laughs> Not preferred that it's that high, but, you know, it can handle it, so. I right, yo, get some marshmallows. Yeah, true. <laughs> you can boil some water on the heatsink. Looks like Boost has actually given up, and now it's running more around 40 watts. Which is probably it's perpetual, uh... No? Boosting again? No. Back down. 40 watts. Um, yeah, it's probably it's perpetual wattage, which puts it around 95C, so... GPU's gonna be hot, you know, but... <coughs> yeah, surprisingly stable for Razer, yeah. Which, there's a reason for that. Someone was asking, does this have normal thermal paste or liquid metal before the stream starts? And, uh, this has normal thermal paste, as far as I'm aware. Seems very stable, very nice. The power brick's not burning either, so that's good. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so, what I want to talk about, just real quick, we'll stop the stress test here. I mean, it's pretty clear that we're thermally good. Uh... 40, 90 watts. You can get 45 if you want. Um, oh yeah, June 24th. Stay tuned for Windows 11 on the 24th. <coughs> oh, it's Cammy. Hello, Cammy. Um... But yeah, so we need to talk about the way the heat sink is designed and the way heat management works on this computer. So, close the lid. Let's look. Together. So the bottom, I briefly mentioned this at the beginning of the stream. You know, we're going to talk about this design. And the reason I said that is because uh, you can see there's a vent here. There's also vents here, you know, along the bottom, that are supposed to kind of guide air out along the hinge. Man, it's like impossible to see those with <laughs> the camera. Why? You can see the vents inside. Yep. So, you know, some of the air will come out here. A lot of the air will come out here. And the reason why this is important to have these vents is because, for instance, on the Asus machines, they blow air at the hinge. And when you blow air at the hinge, it tends to go up the screen. Um, this particular razor design, when you open the lid, for one, the airflow is not that obstructed. You know, you can still kind of see the fins. It gets more obstructed as you open it, of course. So, I mean, this is going to be pretty good docked. Um, but <coughs> when it's open, you don't have airflow out of here. This channel's basically isolated. So when you have these vents here, air can go out in this way or this way. And it's blocked by this big foot, so it doesn't pollute your intakes. So this big foot is part of the thermal system, actually, outside of just elevating the laptop so this is a smart design this is really good 
Um, and you can tell based on the thermals that, again, it's really good. There's a lot of, you know, turbulence potential with this particular design, but, you know, it's what they did, and it's pretty good for the form factor. I mean, it's the best design I've seen come out of this form factor so far. So props to Razer for good engineering, which they usually do, um, except for thermals sometimes. But um, a lot of the time, it's just their quality is just meh. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's a neat design thing, and I, I do appreciate it, seriously. Um if this laptop does have flaws outside of, you know, that, it's a shame, but, um, thought went into it at the very least. Same as last year's design. There wasn't a last year's 14 inch, so I don't, I don't know. If you're talking about, like, the Blade 15 Advance, then maybe. Now, I'm not particularly <laughs> happy about this. Not that that's, like, particularly relevant, but this just means, you know, you can smash the screen against the keyboard and get weird scratches on it easier, which is not exactly ideal, but it's fine. All right, so let's get a password on this because I want to test the IR sign in and make sure it works well. Also, let's see if Windows activated. Nope. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Alright, has anyone else had this problem? Why is the screen wobbly? Yeah, it's just thin aluminum. Thin aluminum with no structure supports. It's just a thin lid. Not ideal, but um, it's structural enough to, you know, support the laptop when opening it. So whatever. Because of the trampoline. <laughs> let, me, let me just look, okay? I got to I got to see if there's a uh, Razer Windows not Windows key not working. Oh. Windows not Come on. 10 not activated. Oh, okay. So let's do this. I found a helpful guide on the internet. <clears throat> so we're going to do command prompt. Well, PowerShell. And I'm going to type Wimic path uh, software license service get OA3x original product key what oh I made a typo there it is so I'm gonna take this product key and we're gonna see if we can activate windows with it And it works. Why? Why did I have to do that? Why did I have to do that? <laughs> okay. Uh, whatever. Um, so yeah, let's get an account on here. Also change the colors. I want it to be dark. Pick an accent and yeah, that's, that's appropriate. There we go dark mode do you think it's better than the legion 7 i haven't used the legion 7 but based on the legion 5 pro um no and i'll tell you why uh because the 5 pro is a gaming laptop that is also way thicker than this it's probably like twice as thick so gonna have to say no um Man, I forgot what I was doing. That's good. I'm paying attention. You know. Alright, so I'm going to get a password set up on this. Because I do plan on dailying this for a while. So, um, don't, don't think that I get stuff and then just set it on a table and don't use it for a few weeks. I only do that if I don't like it. 
<clears throat> which does happen more than I would like, but um, I try to use this stuff. All right, so I've got the pin on here. So now let's set up my face, which I need the pin for again. So I'll just zoom in again. Oh, look, it's me. Yeah. Cool. So now if I just um, <clears throat> close the laptop and open it, we're going to get a good old sign in. Yep. Good. Works good. They force you to use an account to sign up for their uh, panel. No, actually, you can continue as a guest till now. So, um, I, I wasn't forced. <clears throat> now, personally, I'm not a huge fan of this wallpaper because it doesn't show off how nice the screen is. So, I'm just going to switch to this one. There we go. Not much nicer. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really know. Is there a way to update, like, software through here? Do you guys know? <laughs> I'm sure somebody knows. Ooh, the Chroma Workshop. Does it even work with specs? What What do you mean? Oh, speaking of which, yeah, we should go over the specs real quick because I kind of forgot to do that. <clears throat> so, 5900HX. We have 16 gigs of 3200 DDR4 SEAL 22. We have a 1 terabyte SSD, AX210 Wi-Fi 6E capable Wi-Fi card, which whoop de do a 3070 which is limited at 90 watts with 10 watts boost for 100 watts and also integrated <clears throat> which 5000 series integrated is quite good so uh let's get the gaming oh yeah nvidia mine gets updated automatically yeah i don't even know man i think they must do it through like windows update or something not through their interface which makes sense because people complain about the interface so they're probably trying to avoid putting stuff that people need in it <laughs> or maybe they're not doing that I don't know apparently we're missing a driver update or something we zoomed in oh sorry <clears throat> control panel let's just check out our system info We're on 4.66.17. No, oh, sorry, 4166.17. TGP 100 watts. 8 gigs of GDDR6. We're on X8 Gen 3. We have 3rd Gen Max Q technologies and resizable bar with 5. 5120 CUDA cores, so all good. Oh, it's installing a cumulative update. How's the fan noise? Uh, when we were doing the stress test, it was getting there. Uh, do I have my volume thing? No. I'll have to do an actual sound test uh, when I have. <laughs> found that thing. Let's just check. Notebook Check actually published a uh, article recently on, I think, probably the 3080 version. So, let's just go look. Yeah, that was today. It's already buried. Oh, no, they have the 3070, actually. Same one as me. Um... Oh, are they selling it with two different variants of panel? 
I guess. I don't know which one I have. Uh, we should probably activate it at a 64 so I can check, but... <clears throat> It is sad that this keyboard does only have squashed arrow keys, but, you know, that's whatever. Uh, but I'm just trying to look for, uh... Ooh. Oh, I think Jared's grade to grade numbers are only one... Are like a rise, a rise value, basically. They're not actually a full grade to grade rise fall, so... Rice fall is 16 milliseconds, which compared to the G14, I mean, that's the G14 screen is like 43.6 milliseconds. So 16.4 over 43.6, that's like uh, like a 60% over 60% reduction or 60% faster. So. It said 16 by 10 it would be perfect. Does it support mux switch? No, this doesn't have a mux switch, unfortunately. Which is sad. I wish it did. It's a DC backlit. Uh, I'm just trying to find the noise. Uh, stress test. Notebook check registered 51.7 decibels. Which is quieter than the G14. And while playing Witcher 3 and Ultra... Uh, it was considerably quieter. 44 decibels versus 53.5, which I think like one decibel is like twice as loud or so. I don't know. It's there's it's it's a logarithmic scale, so 44 is considerably quieter than 53. Load average is lower. Idly, it's way quieter. I think it's basically that sound floor, um, which yeah, it is actually sound floor. 25.1 decibels is off. So, yeah, it's basically the fans actually turn off on this laptop, which in the G14, they never turn off. So if you're looking for a quiet laptop, I mean, it exists by default. Of course, you can actually turn the fans off on the G14 manually if you want to, but I don't know if I would go through the effort to do that. I'm on a 2014 Lenovo Y50. It's still doing quite okay. Nice, man. Watch the hinge, but... um. That's that's my only concern, I guess. Um, I wish this update would install. Update streams are not my favorite. You know, because uh, they're boring. And then people are like, I don't want to watch you update Windows for 25 minutes. So let's, uh, let's get Steam installed here. Because I do have a bunch of games on my drive here. My lovely external drive that we'll be able to uh, test. It's also worth note that Razer doesn't put any like plastic around the edge of their ports. So over time the metal just kind of scrapes off around the ports if you're not careful. Um, it does do you a lot of good not to be like a greasy gamer and just cram everything into the ports. So... I mean, at least keep that in mind. I'll probably, if I, if, if, if I keep this system long term, which I don't know if I will, I don't know, um, I will probably put vinyl stickers around the edge of the ports so that they don't get scratched, but that's me. Um, <clears throat> so, actually, let's fire up Synapse. Does Synapse have, actually, do, what, what Razer apps do we have on here? Razer. I oh, just Synapse, okay. We have THX Audio, of course, but is there like a support thing? Yeah. Yeah, that's good support, guys. Contact reason. Razer laptops. Serial number. Oh, <laughs> how do I get it? Oh, do I really have to do that? Oh. You could have just put it in your software, man. I mean, but is that really that hard? 
share a serial number. Guys, we're gonna let's just request a new charger. Loki Radio. Support stream. Um, request replacement. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Please upload my proof of purchase. That is lovely. I'll do this later. <laughs> yes, close. Yeah, I'll do that later after the stream. I'll have to get a new charger. I don't want to deal with a broken charger, so... Log into Steam. Now, I am not actually like a huge fan of how shallow these keys are, but I mean, I think the 14 inch screen is too small for you. I mean, I work on a 14 inch right now, so it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> I'm just not. It's not my preferred screen size, I guess. All right, we're almost in. Cool, did it. So this SSD, I don't. Which one do we have actually? Is it like a decent Samsung one? Yeah, it's a Samsung one, so it should be nice. That's always promising. Uh, let's get my thing plugged in here. Is that a USB port? Yeah. There we go. <coughs> and uh, once that gets connected to the system, I'll actually turn the speakers on. Oh, that's nice. Check this out. You hit FN and the keys light up. Sweet. That makes a ton of sense. Good job, Razor. Cool. Cool design. Alright, so let's see if this is actually loaded. I don't even know if it got detected yet. I think it did. Or maybe it's just not <laughs> completely busted. Yeah, it's just not it's not loading. Why is it not loading? Unplug it. Are we gonna have another all right, try again. I don't know why every laptop hate my hates every single laptop basically hates my external drives. I, I don't know what the deal is. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> no matter how much I spend on an external bay, it's just nope, sorry. Sorry, man. So do you guys want to see 3D Mark, or would you prefer, like, uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, or I can run a Shadow Tomb Raider bench? I actually don't have any good first-person shooters installed. We could always download Fortnite. <laughs> Random question. Does this support USB-C charging? I know some of their laptops do and don't. Um, I think this does... Let's check. Uh, let's see if we have our uh, user manual. Packet of stuff. See if it tells us. <laughs> Remember, if you have any questions or problems with your Razer laptop, do not return the product to your retailer. The fastest way to resolve any issues you encounter is to contact us directly. I don't know how true that is. And also, I think their support's already closed. Um, so I have to call them tomorrow. They give us a nice um, sweat rag, so that's nice. It's actually just a nice microfiber. <laughs> but uh, we got some gamer stickers. So yeah, we have a user manual here. Congrats, there's no, there's no turning back. I don't know if you want to say that about a laptop. 
so here we are <coughs> USB C ports power port yeah microfiber cleaning cloth I wonder, does this actually say anything about No, I don't think it says anything about um, USB-C charging, but uh, we can at least test it. <coughs> Do I have any USB-C chargers plugged in? No. Um. Crap. Wait, I do. Okay. Yeah, Razer support's pretty awesome. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's unplug, and now plug in this charger. More power required. System is not receiving adequate power to perform optimally, and the battery made us charge at a faster rate and not charge at all. But, we are getting power from the AC, so, indeed, you can charge with USB-C. Sweet. What I like to know. Cool. Alright, so. Did you guys say anything in chat? Play Metallica. <laughs> you call the line, it's just Razor CEO laughing. Nice laughy, yeah. Um, AMD version seems hotter than the Intel 15. I mean, it's a 14 inch laptop, so. It's gonna, it's gonna be hotter. I think the 14 inch screen is too small for FPS. Uh, no, it just depends on how close you can sit to it, I guess. It's up to you. I don't really have a stance on that. <coughs> um, all right, we're gonna fire up Grand Theft Auto 5 because I think that's a good test of uh, if the computer is gaming or not. If you can play Grand Theft Auto 5, then probably gaming. Speakers. Uh, the speakers seem okay. They are kind of like... Clipping, <laughs> but that's okay. I guess. They don't sound beautiful. They just sound okay. House Fire Blade, the temps go crazy. I mean, the temps are fine on this thing, really. Considering the power levels we're running at, I mean, it's respectable for the form factor. <clears throat> Can't really fault it. Test the speakers. Do you want to play? Oh, yeah, we got to play music. Crap. Uh, let's play any song request, copyright free music, that it's good. Play a YouTube song. Um, let's play Vsauce music. It's time to help people customize and save at Liberty Beach. Parents are quick to protect. Raid! Just like Raid, Ant, and Roach. Hundred watt PD charger. Uh, yeah, so that was the Dell hundred watt PD charger, except that one kind of sucks. So a lot of laptops just don't recognize it as a hundred watts. 
Um, so I'll have to get a good PD charger before the end of the review to test it with. But uh, it appears it at least accepts USB-C power, so that's good at least. Um, maybe I'll have to get the Razer GAN charger. Because apparently that can do like 130 watts, right? Right? I don't remember. Stop. Stop doing that. Yes. No. Alright, I think. Alright, good. Was that 100 watt? Yeah. Screen bright enough. I mean. I'd say so. It's plenty bright in here. <laughs> I don't exactly have like a studio light setup, but you know, it's not dark. It's 350 nit uh, at measurement, not spec. So it's spec at 300. So it's overachieving. I'll have to double check my panel model though, but it seems like they're all the same when they're basically, you know, part of that group. Looks like shadows are off or something. He is dead. Why has he not died? Oh no, he has passed away. Can we not kill him? Oh yeah, he has like a weird fall animation. Oh god, licensed music. Oh no. No, the stream's gonna get demonetized. Stop. <laughs> Running well. I don't know, am I streaming at 1080p? Uh, Whatever. <laughs> Stop. Um, by the way, this might be a good time to mention this. But um, I have a bunch of computer mice here. They're like Logitech ones that were on sale um, during Prime Day. Uh, it's like two. It's like the G Pro, like G305, G503 or so, I don't know. A bunch of them. And do you guys want to see me test those in reference to laptops and just give my opinion on which seems to be a good fit for most laptops if you are interested just let me know in chat we can even just talk about them today I open them all up and whatever and uh, by the way this is running Grand Theft Auto 5 quite nicely <coughs> Certainly better than my desktop was running it with a uh, 1070, which, considering this is only at 90 watts, I mean, pretty impressive regardless. There's also, like, no shadows on right now for some reason, which is really odd. Let me see if I can fix that. Oops. No. Go back. What is the deal with this shadows? Um, okay, NVIDIA. Yeah, I don't know why the shadows are, like, weird. There. They're on again. Now they look correct. So you can actually game on this fake AI generated. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I gotta get Afterburner. You're right. We can't have AI. You're right, you're right, man. We should actually look at the actual uh, temperatures and everything instead of just being like, are we gaming? Because, uh, you know, that's not <laughs> particularly important. I do, I am 
immediately liking this machine though, which is unfortunate for my wallet, but <clears throat> sometimes good things are expensive and sometimes Razer products are expensive and we just kind of have to deal with both situations as they come. Jarod. Is it possible to undervolt a Ryzen or even limit the power? Uh, yeah, if you use like Ryzen control controller, um, I think that's what it's called, or like Ryzen or like APU tune utility, uh, you can <clears throat> limit either temperature for power, like you can set a power limit that'll adjust the, no, you can set a temp limit that'll adjust power limits essentially because AMD's thermal throttling is actually pretty intelligent, so you can do that without it really hurting performance or you can just adjust your power limits to be like 35 watts so that's a little cooler but i would not be concerned about it personally unless like you think the battery is getting too hot or something uh just based on the fact that uh i mean 85c is really cold in terms of a cpu running in a laptop but you know nothing wrong with wanting to have things run cool in the first place for like less fan noise or maybe you just live in a climate where it's a lot warmer sometimes so you just want to have more room i don't know it's up to you but i wouldn't worry about it personally that's just my perspective on that <clears throat> love to see your jared make a video on what to do when you finally receiving a gaming laptop what peripherals you guys recommend for beginners i mean my streams are basically that i set up laptops on stream for what i use them as like i don't do anything that special um, if if the install is particularly bloated the most i do is reinstall windows which i mean any tutorial on the internet can show you how to do that so um otherwise gaming and work <clears throat> show your support for code husky why would i give myself money All right, I have a poll in chat here. <clears throat> Did I do the SAL stress test? Basically, yeah. Should turn the screen brightness down so you can actually see the rest of everything happening. I don't know why the Visual Studio redistributables are taking a decade, but looks like you guys want to see the mice, so... I was typing reply and that poll made my reply delete. Oh no. So G502 G Pro G502 that got mangled by a uh, shipping label. And a uh whoops. G305. Uh, so which one do you guys want to have first? Which one do you want to see? Here's the spread of them. I can't even see that over this. The wired one. Okay. Yeah, let's open the <laughs> horrible box wired one. The cheapest one. Okay, let me actually check which one was the cheapest. So let's go from cheapest to most expensive, like a like a clickbait YouTube video. So I don't remember. Let me look at my receipt here. Here it is. Okay, so the cheapest is the G305, surprisingly. 
This is actually the second cheapest. So let's open the cheapest first. So this is the cheapest mouse. I got this one for $30 on Prime Day. Do you guys care more about MSRP or uh, the <laughs> discount price that I got them for? Because if you care more about MSRP, I'll look. Because I imagine the wireless one is not actually the cheapest. By the way, yeah, good point on Jared comment. Look at Jared's comment. It's good. All right, I'm just going to look at the MSRPs because I, I mean, I'm not going to. It's not relevant that. Uh... There we go. So <clears throat> all of these are still on the Prime Day discount, so I'll just link them real quick in chat. Actually. How about I just look up Logitech gaming mouse, and I'll just guy I'll give you a link to this because there's a lot of good deals on these if you have Prime. Here, here's a link to the Amazon stuff. This is an affiliate link. Uh, I bought these because I wanted to find out which one would be better than, you know, my current mouse for gaming. So, uh. MSRP wise, the cheapest is the G305. Is it? No, hold on. G502. Yeah, it is G305, and then G502, and then the G Pro, and then the G502 Lightspeed Wireless. Okay, so. How's the touchpad of the R RB14 feel? Feels good. I think it's... Is it glass? I don't remember. I, w I asked for a press kit, and I looked for a press kit, but th that doesn't exist. So, <laughs> And the press website for Razer was down yesterday, so I don't know. Okay, so... Yeah, so basically, I'll just pin this for now. <clears throat> this is the link for the mice that we're going to talk about briefly. Not sponsored. This is just me buying stuff and talking about it. FYI. Um, so the cheapest one is the G305 Lightspeed. $28.49 right now on Amazon. It's $60 normally. Um, but you can get it for basically $30 bucks right now. So, um, And if you do want any of these internationally at a cheap price, you can order them through Atlas. <laughs> and I'll order them for you. I don't know what the... Uh, Per customer limit is, but I'll do it. Um, but yeah, so mouse. I'll take a look at the 305. So I have the old G Pro wired here. This mouse is broken. It like legitimately. It's it looks really horrible because it's just been sitting on my desk for like ever, and it's got dust and crap all over it, but. Um, you can tell it's pretty similar grip-wise to the wired G Pro. It's basically the same design. Um, minus some details. This is very light, too. It feels cheap, which it is. Um, there's, like, no packaging. Uh, I think this also uses the unifying receiver, does it? Oh, it needs batteries. It doesn't have batteries in it. How do you put batteries in this? Does it? Guys, I'm lost. Oh, the top. Oh, oh, oh. I see. <laughs> I can see your viewers guide for the blade. Dude, please do. That would be awesome. If you have one, that would be, like, amazing. There we go. So it needs double A's, obviously. I just realized I had one all along. Oh, <laughs> that's not a big deal. Um, has a receiver in there. It actually has a spot for the receiver inside of the mouse, which I appreciate because I switch laptops a lot, and sometimes I want to switch mice or just put my receiver away. 
and you know when there's nowhere to put it it's just it gets lost all the time so having it in here is actually awesome and then you can just like i don't know put nail polish in it or something if you want to know which one goes to which i don't why is this installer taking a decade finally um can't get that out right now whatever um i'll actually get these going in a little bit but there's g305 it's got uh, Duracells in here. Box is very barren. <clears throat> we have the G502, which is the second most expensive one, which we will be opening now. Do you think Windows laptop could have a touchpad like MacBook Pro someday? Uh, yeah, it just depends on a laptop manufacturer or a touchpad manufacturer. Uh, deciding to do it so immediately g502 slightly better packaging but i mean do i care about packaging not really but i do care about stickers and we got a sticker and a thing a book <coughs> long cable it's got weights that you can install probably maybe i'm a good i'm a good mouse reviewer and by good i mean horrible but Here's your weight set. Here's your mouse. This mouse I was actually considering um, over the uh, MX Master 3 I got. And that's because it just has this free will feature. But, you know, this mouse does feel pretty good. I can see myself gaming pretty hard with it. It's got nice uh, skates or whatever. Pretty slippery. Um, certainly slippier than this one. This one kind of grips a little bit on my table. Whereas this, I mean, it's basically floating. So there's that element of it. <coughs> I'll be giving my full opinion on these sometime soon. Because, you know, I kind of want to finish testing the laptop first, and then we can talk about computer mice a little more. Uh, next up we have the, <laughs> this video wasn't titled live mouse testing. Yeah, I know. I'm just going through them real quick. We have the G pro, which probably is the one that'll most likely I'd most, I'd most likely use. But then again, the 502 light speed exists. <coughs> we'll be going back to laptop testing shortly. I, I assure you, don't worry guys. I should also just get afterburner set up as well, but uh mouse. This is bigger than I thought it would be. It's actually got a sticker on the bottom protecting the uh little skitter things. And then we just take the sticker off. Pretty slippery too. Probably just about as good as the uh, 502 in terms of not dragging. So that's good stuff. Um, also can accept weights probably it appears. I'm doing something. Oh, there we go. It's got a spot to tuck away your receiver. It's, you know, wireless and... Uh, Oh, that's actually magnetic. Can you put the weights down there too? Can you actually put weights in this? I don't know if you can. I don't think so. Anyway. Yeah, lightweight. Doesn't, you know, feel amazing, but it's also a gaming mouse, so it's not supposed to be like, man, this is the most premium product I've ever felt. Oh. Yeah, it actually does have... I think this might be weights. I don't know, man. I don't... <laughs> I don't use gaming mice that often. I don't, I don't know why I bought these. This was really stupid. Why did I put money into something I don't know how to test? Okay. One more mouse. And then we'll move on. For now. Get these mice out of the way. Uh, 
All right, last one. Most expensive, $150 funny thing. Uh, we have the G502. Same type of thing as the G Pro. Got that sticker on the bottom, protects the little skids. It's also got some protecting the shiny plastic that's on here for no reason other than to get fingerprints on it and scratch to make it look used. <laughs> um, same type of thing on the bottom. It's basically just a different G Pro. So yeah, cool. This concludes our uh, sponsor role play. Not sponsored. And uh, yeah, let's continue. So let's check and see what our FPS we're getting on uh, Grand Theft Auto Five is. <coughs> Afterburner. Can we get one of the 101 computer jokes? Yeah, I, I owe you guys for <laughs> dragging that battery thing out. Uh, number from 5 to 96. Let's unpin that. 47. Okay. As long as we haven't read that one on stream before. Oh, it's an image. But I will read the uh, page 46 for you. Why was the computer so angry? Because it had a chip on its shoulder. Where do computers go in the winter? To hot spots. A. Why can't you trust a computer? Because it's shift key. Pretty good. <laughs> Here's the nice artwork. It, it's actually kind of nice. I like the style that they go for in these books. I actually have uh, emotes on my Discord server that are literally just these two. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's a bit of a meme. But, uh, yeah, let's get back to things. So we have Afterburner now, so I can fire that up. Hopefully, if it'll open. We also have pending Windows updates, so that might break some stuff. I I, what is happening? <laughs> Come on. This computer is not working with me at all right now. Cannot start because its side-by-side -side configuration is incorrect. What? Um... What does that mean? That's nice. That's that's really good. <sighs> well, who's ready for a reboot? Yeah, Discord server link is in the description. I can't get any HP stuff until it's for sale in HP US store. That sucks. They don't send you samples? Really? They're scamming, dude. Oh, thanks for the press kit, Jared. I just checked that. Let's take a look and see if I missed any of the uh, talking points of this laptop. Oh yeah, actually I did find this on the Notebook Check Discord too. Because I am back on that team now. So they had one on the release folder. But yeah. Actually, they didn't have the reviewer guide. They had just the PR thing. So this is different. So, key product takeaways. The most powerful 14-inch gaming laptop. That's true. The first 14-inch gaming laptop with 3070 and 3080 GPU. That's also true. Uh, the smallest 14-inch gaming laptop on the market today. I mean, all right. The fastest 14-inch 14 14-inch display with Quad HD 165 hertz refresh rate. It is faster than the G14 screen, so. 
Most efficient 14 inch laptop thermal solution. Yeah, good job on that. Longest battery life of any Razer gaming laptop with up to 12 hours. Well, I don't know why you'd have to, you'd only be able to do that on your 14 inch, but I suppose it's just because it's AMD, but up to 12 hours, we'll have to just check that out. We'll check out uh, Hardware Info 64's uh, battery draw level thing, and we'll see how good that is. They do, but they order them from the U.S. Oh, really? They don't have, like, an internal thing? That's weird. More info on the power levels. Oh, yeah, okay. Latest RTX graphics. Balanced and custom. So... <laughs> Razer's ratings for the 3070 model. When you have the GPU on balanced, it only runs it at 80 watts. Then it'll boost with 10 watts more. Um, when you have it on custom high on the CPU, oh, on the GPU, it'll run at 90 watts plus 10 watts. Plus a slight overclock. Um, and CPU boost will try to run at 46 watts. Yeah, okay, so this is all in line with what we've seen. Yeah, alright, well that's nice. Accurate viewer guide, that's good. Oh, I, I took the mice off screen we're losing viewers. That's quite sad. Um, pictures... Now, one thing, this this has soldered memory, which is a bummer. I do wish it was upgradable, but... <coughs> is Afterburner going to work now? Yeah, it was literally just busted. Okay. Um... Any other useful details? So Razer's stat on the response is 10 millisecond gray to gray for the 165 and 20 on the 144, 10, 1080p. So um, it'll probably still be better than the G14 screen, but it's hard to sell. It's hard to say because do I don't know how they're measuring that. That could be like 10 to 90 of full response or something. I don't know. Perky and a ghosting precision touchpad. Is this glass? It is. Yeah. Okay. It's a glass touchpad. So if you're wondering, it is. It's a sixty-one point one, sixty-one point six watt hour battery, and a glass touchpad. And um, yeah. Oh, the product renders. Oh, I can actually pay for Elite Warranty Service? Um, how do I do that? <laughs> anyway, uh, so let's get back to things. We can fire up Grand Theft Auto V again. Oh, I gotta switch to the other GPU. How do I do that again? I don't there it is. Also fire up Synapse, go to System, Performance, Custom, yep. Fire up Grand Theft Auto 5 one more time. And then we can start customizing our overlay. And what, what GPU are we on to? Okay, so I need to do this. Um, <laughs> GPU to power, temp limit, power limit, voltage limit. No load limits. CPU temperature, CPU usage. 
I can actually monitor the CPU power? Really? Nice. Um, frame rates. Frame time. And also, we should just keep RAM usage in mind, too. So, cool. There we go. So now I can go back to story mode. And hopefully the overlay will come on. If only you knew someone had tested the response time, yeah. Yeah, I looked at your numbers, Jared. Um, so their 10 millisecond number, it kind of makes me think that they're doing combined and uh, just stripping out like the beginning and end of it, like most of the measurements do, which would be why it's 10 instead of 16 or 17. So that, I mean, theoretically then, since the 1080p one is... Uh, 20 then it should be more like 25 28 30 which you know is not super amazing but it's also not horrid so <clears throat> it's better than again better than g14 screen last year this year i think it's different so we should actually look g14 yeah, G14 screen this year is actually better. 9 milliseconds versus 20. In which in Jared's test, 9 is like 18 on notebook check. So why did Grand Theft Auto just crash? What? <laughs> okay. Do you remember, do you recommend repasting the CPU? What is happening? Oh, my drive, like, bailed. Okay. Try this again. That's why it crashed. Blade just... No, oh, the blade decided to eject my drive while I was trying to launch a game. Well, let's try this again. <laughs> Alright, try us again. Does the battery explode? I hope not. Uh, we'll have to open this up and uh, do an inspection of the battery. Uh, I will be doing some kind of deep diving into Razer's battery practices um, soon. To see if I can nail down the exact cause and talk with some you know, material scientist type people and stuff. Uh, regarding repasting, I don't repaste unless the thermals are super duper awful. Um, or just, you know, are held back by bad paste. Usually they're okay, especially in more recent machines. They seem to have miraculously come up with a way to fix that, but... Uh, think is gonna be a big improvement next year and the year after for gpu and cpu chips uh next year mm, i don't know uh it's really hard to say it just depends on how fast gpu makers decide to pick up on better processes i mean if we see five nanometer gpus they're gonna blast but uh we haven't seen that so i'm tempted to get a 999 blade at 1660 ti but bad experience uh, do not buy that one. The base model blades are kind of meh. So, yeah, would, would not recommend. So, yeah, right now, uh... <laughs> what the hell? Do we lose the drive again? What is happening? I think we lost the drive again. What the hell? Guys, we're running on uh, PS2 mode. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, we seem to have uh, encountered a problem. <laughs> what, what is happening?
Why? All right, I'm trying a different USB-C port. I think we have a broken port or something. All right, different port. Any reason not to get ARM MacBooks? I mean, if you're gonna game, I probably wouldn't get one. The GPUs are good, but they're not that good. They're just good integrated. I'll have to see if that USB-C port is literally just broken, because if it is, I'll just get an exchange unit. And then it'll be the first tick in the box of... broken. As you can see, we're plugged into the left side instead of the right side. Um, it's possible that just this enclosure doesn't really work well with that USB port since sometimes they wear up different sides differently with different hubs and different hub controllers. I've had problems with external bays before. Usually it's not that big of a deal. Um, let's just... I have a Thunderbolt cable here. He, bleh, here. So let's plug my phone in. Yeah, it's probably just a mixture of the cable and the controller not really behaving. Because, you know, I'm plugged in fine now. God, those speakers are clipping horribly. Little THX. Yeah, I think it's just the enclosure with that USB port. Hopefully that's the case, but... I'll have to investigate more shortly. Anyway, let's game a little bit again. We actually have tires. Epic. So we're at around 80 watts right now, which... Oh, did I not fire up Synapse? Oh god, license music. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this is ridiculous. Okay, there we go. Um, we are indeed in boost and high, so... We're power limiting now. No, stop! There we go. So, 90, 100 FPS. Uh, we're voltage limiting right now, which I think is generally an indication that you're not bottlenecking at all. S CPU is running at 33 watts, so we could probably get boost wattages if, uh, <coughs> you know, we were stressing the GPU more, but we're not. It's surprising, though, because night tends to kind of make Grand Theft Auto a little cranky. They missed thermal test. Uh, yeah, but, um, I can give you the results. Um, basically, around 45 watts CPU, um, 80 watt, uh, sorry, 90 watt GPU, um, and around 90s to, yeah, around 90s once it settles into around 40 watts in the CPU. You can also adjust the CPU limits by just using Synapse, and then you can bring your CPU temps a little down a little bit, but, um... Oh! Yeah, actually, um, so the way Synapse does, uh, the power management, I actually appreciate a lot, because, for instance, on the Legion, if you want to, you know, have a fast GPU, you need to go in performance mode, but that also means that the CPU can go up to, like, a million watts. Um, on the Razer, you actually can configure it to have a restricted CPU but full-on GPU, which can result in, you know, better gaming performance in some games where, you know, it prefers more boost power GPU type performance over, you know, 45 watts of CPU. So props to Razer for, again, good engineering. 
Um, <laughs> we'll just have to see if it uh, holds up here. <clears throat> are your GTA graphics settings on high? Oh, yeah, I can run through those real quick. Oh, man, the fans are cranked a little bit right now. So, we're on 1440p, not 1080, 1440. We have X FXAA on, no MSAA. We have VSync on. We have max population density and everything. I think this is even modded to be higher than default. Texture quality is on, very high, very high, very high, off, high, very high, high, PCSS, very high, no motion blur, in-game depth of fields on, X16 antiscopic, high ambient occlusion, high tessellation, and uh, let's turn these on. Let's crank this, why not? We'll stress the computer a little more. Um, yeah, still around 90 FPS, so better than 60. GPU is working a little harder now, but not notably. We're still not fully stressing it. I mean, it's only at like 63% usage. <coughs> no, actually, the whole system's not really loaded that hard with this game. Which is surprising, because, again, my desktop can't really run Grand Theft Auto V very well. So, um, the fact that it runs well on here at 1440p, not even 1080, like, you know, it, it just goes to show how good the new hardware is in general. My desktop is a uh, i7 uh, 8700 and a 1070, so it's, it's all right. This is, of course, more expensive than that, but... <coughs> Alright, chat again. That's why I stopped testing this game five years ago and going through all those options. Yeah, no kidding. Zoom out, we can't see the tent. Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm sorry. There, is, is that more visible? Should be. The keyboard area burning. No. Actually, let me just... There. Now it should be extra visible. You just can't see the game as well, which, whatever. Oh god, I have licensed music playing again. So the touchpad is doing considerably better than I would have hoped it would um, when I'm just gaming like this, which probably has something to do with the way they have the palm rejection working, but it's also not too amazing with you know palm rejection on so i'll have to turn it off if i want a game with the touchpad um the fans are quite loud at this point they're audible at least but if i like put my headphones on i can't hear them outside of just my mic loop back uh, i do listen to myself while i stream and also record videos so if you're wondering why i stumble over myself sometimes that's why but i do that so that i know what volume i'm at and also how i'm coming off tone wise and everything it's slightly delayed, um, which just kind of generally helps me uh, speak better. I don't know. I think it does anyway. Uh-oh, the cops are after me. New car. No, don't drive away. Can I get in, please? What is happening? <laughs> okay then I think we have a problem guys what what is happening um are we glitched what the hell <laughs> is was taught no what the what happened there I think the drive's glitching again. Which is good, because that means that we won't be able to test much after this. Yeah, that drive's glitching. <laughs> Game's frozen. <sighs> Corrupt game data. Oh, yep, drive just crashed. 
All right, so it's not the USB port. It's just a compatibility issue with this controller. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! -hoo. Yeah! Uh, maybe this USB plug is just kind of—I don't know, man. Um, or maybe this drive enclosure just isn't like a lot of load. I have no idea. Maybe it's the enclosure's fault. I haven't actually played a game off of it, so it's possible. Maybe I'm just faulting the Razer laptop, um, unjustly. Let's check. Is this hot? No, but I mean, it's also not thermal padded, so it could be really hot inside. I don't know. Laptop about to take off. Yeah. Um, let's run Tomb Raider. Hey, Jared, what, what settings do you use for Tomb Raider? Just high 1080p? I really wish it would just launch. Stop doing random things. I'll, I'll have to test this enclosure out a little bit more later. Default, just change the settings preset. Okay. There it is. Um, options, maybe? Should I have TA on, or... Is this the right menu to do this? DX12, 1080p, use highest for comparing. Okay. Highest. 1080p. Yeah, TA is default. Okay. So, hit play. Get more dust off the screen. <laughs> I really got to get like a filter for the air in here or something. It's quite bad. <clears throat> Anzel can be activated with Alt F2. What? That's that's awesome, man. Why are we using 40 watts to do nothing right now on the GPU? What? TV for the stream. Want to know? Oh, thank you for the stream. Want to know if this laptop can be stable for 3D rendering before buying it? Um, probably, I mean, if, if you're just like rendering stuff, there's better systems for it, but, um, there's no reason you couldn't. Thanks Cuffy for the funny moment comment, but I, I can't read that on stream. Otherwise I'll get, I'll lose my monetization here. Also, did the drive just crash again or like what is happening? I seriously think there is some weird incompatibility with this laptop because uh, it doesn't lag like this on the other system I have. The way you're meant to be played intensifies. Yeah, I know. It's... Am I just going to have to copy this onto the system? I might have to. All right. Yay. A disc error. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, yeah, all right. We're going to just copy this onto the computer. Disk rate failure. That's good. That's what you want. It's good. Good, yeah. I have a feeling that it's, again, just the computer, but I'll have to look at the drivers, too. Maybe it has, like, a weird driver installed. I don't know. But last time I ran into this issue, it doesn't didn't. So I, I don't know. Let's go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, and I'll go to Steam, Steam Apps, and I'll just copy these app manifests, 
and I'll copy over. How about I just copy everything? Why not? Let's see how long that'll take. One hour? Let's not do that, actually. We just need Tomb Raider for now. So, 47 megabytes per second, so that should be about three minutes. So, yeah, all right. For what it's worth, I ran 10 games, two resolutions, all settings, zero errors like you're having around for local. Yeah, it's just my stupid enclosure, I guarantee it. I've had this issue before, again, with the Legion 5 Pro even, it has this problem with this particular enclosure. And every single enclosure I buy doesn't work with a random laptop. It's so irritating. And I don't know what causes it. It's just some weird hardware level like incompatibility. So I know it's not the laptop here. I'm not going to blame it for this. Because it's just, it's just some dumb BS with um, my enclosure or something. Good old USB attached UAS mass storage device. I might just have to get, might have to get a big USB flash drive or something. I don't know. Oh look, we just totally lost right, like what completely? Ooh, nice. Ooh, yeah. Husky is cursed. Maybe six minutes. All right, we're just gonna not do that. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna download Tomb Raider onto the system locally and tell Steam that we don't have that library anymore. We're going to just uh, remove it. And then we're going to go Tomb. Oh, yeah. Tomb Raider demo. I have to download from here. Tomb Raider. Um, I'm going to say I was born in 1900. Oh, no. He lied. Oh, no. No. He lied. We're going to kill the stream at this rate if I don't limit the bandwidth. Uh, we're going to limit that to that, maybe. Oh, 30 megabyte per second. That should be reasonable. Gaming laptop. Your YouTube hit that comment by the way. I chose to make it show. There's a response on Yeah, thank you. It's funny. It's a funny comment. Oh, thank you for the thank you for the uh what is that even called? Super chat, yeah. Gaming laptop, yeah. Indeed. Wait, you can send super stickers? What? Oh, but you can't you can't select what the GIF is. That's lame. Dude, they, they should have it be like you can put like whatever tenor gif you want on there. That'd be hilarious. Thank you, Jared. Why why are we downloading so fast? I I told you to limit to thirty. Well, whatever. I guess it's just gonna kill my connection. Is it worth it to replace my G14 2021 with a Blade 14? Uh, if you're okay with dealing with uh, quality issues, which, I mean, we ran into one already, um, but it was fairly, it's fairly minor. It's just the charger needs to be replaced. Um, <clears throat> uh, I would say it's going to be more performance with a better screen and arguably a better keyboard and arguably better touchpad, but uh, that's up to you personally. Uh I like this system a lot, and if I had the, you know, disposable income to just not worry about the warranty support on it, I would uh, get one and use it. But for anyone that's worried about, you know, pay once and <laughs> I get what is that? What is the saying? Pay once, cry once. What I don't know. If you're worried about that kind of thing, I mean, I don't know. But if 
if you don't care and you just want a fast system for 14 inch and it's compact and you can bag it and it's got a nice compact charger and everything i mean this is not you can't fault it in that regard when it comes to gaming i don't know i'm gonna i'm max gonna only run warzone which i don't know if i need something too good for when was when was warzone released Oh, well, we're downloading a game. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Crap. I was going to I was going to add a stream marker and I actually hit the add button. Maybe accidentally. We'll just say I hit it accidentally and then we can be like, "Oh, what an idiot. He hit the add button." My my <laughs> my two cents of ad revenue. Uh, March 10, twenty twenty. So okay, Warzone runs on potato. All right. Yeah, Jared would know. I have no idea. I've never played Warzone. Can you take off the GPU and put on a desktop PC? Uh no. <laughs> Sadly, uh, you could uh use it as a desktop. Just dock it. That's probably what I'm going to do with my 5 Pro is just get rid of my desktop. I'm uh, Actually, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I can't get rid of my desktop because I stream with it. No! My plan has failed during a live stream. You guys like my internet? <sighs> so this is also the Wi-Fi 6 speed test? No, I don't have a Wi-Fi 6 router. If you want to know how fast Wi-Fi 6 is, um, think about... Uh, throwing a lot of baseballs, and then that's how fast Wi-Fi 6 is. Ten-year-old Pentium, man. Hey, if Warzone runs well on my, like, gaming PC right now, I mean, it's probably going to run fine on everything, so. I'll test this laptop on Wi-Fi 6. Oh, yeah, you're going to do that, aren't you? Yeah, watch Jared's coverage of that when he does that. D have you ever had a, like an, an an issue, Jared, where the uh, Wi-Fi was like particularly slow on a laptop that had like an AX two hundred or just you know like a proper flagship ish Intel Wi-Fi card? That, have you ever ran into that? Because I've I've never ran into that personally. Getting desperate. I've had my desktop without the GPU for six months, dude. That sucks. I have a I have a sixteen fifty on hand. I'll sell it to you for MSRP if you want it. Legitimately, I will. What is this? I don't know if you're that <laughs> that desperate, but um, I do have graphics cards, like at least two. So if anyone's out of a GPU and needs something basic that you know has some performance I, I will give you one sometimes weird issues different wi-fi chips with disconnects and slow all sorts of random stuff really uh yeah is that your discord because i've been debated three times now oh crap yeah i'm on desktop audio right now sorry uh this sh this shouldn't have uh discord audio on it now i was writing through desktop yeah sorry i have like four pings Uh, but yeah. Hello, it's gamers. It's it. <gasps> yeah, I'm live streaming right now. Hi, Loki. Hello. <laughs> can, can they, they hear, hear you? Us? Yeah, they can hear us. They can hear you. Who? Oh, no. It's Dog Tuesday. They can? Yeah, they can. Who can? I'm yeah, don't, checking. Don't Prove be it. mean to them. Oh, God. Well, you suck. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Loki, I'm going to say something that's stop. probably going to take your channel down. No. Alright, I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> Alright, uh... <laughs> so we'll run the benchmark now. Here we go! Here we go! We'll catch up with the stream later. Sounds good, man. I also only recently... Upgraded to a new router though, so not sure how much of that was my old trash. Uh, yeah, that's true. Um, I know with the uh, Realtek 
cards, you know, they drop out and have weird ping issues and all that crap. So, I mean, that could be part of it. I don't know. <laughs> I really should do a stream with my, like, friends in the call or something. That'd be funny. Dog Tuesday. I guess it's Dog Tuesday. Oh, Jerma's streaming right now. Uh. Listen to the wonderful noises of this game. Honestly, sounds like mic feedback. To be honest, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> that is honestly horrible coming through the microphone. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's really. It's like you're actually the Tomb Raider. I'm I'm actually the Tomb Raider. That's crazy. <clears throat> I can't believe it sounded that bad through my headphones. Oh my god. <clears throat> um I don't know how long this benchmark is. It does look nice. It's running playably too, so I mean I I, I, I don't know. I've never ran this bench before. I don't know what's impressive. I can't do a I can't do a Linus like Pog scream because the benchmark's running at like 90 FPS or anything because I don't know if that's good or not. Damn, it's not as bad here in India, but the 1660 is going for about 700 800 dollars. 1660 super in Chile at around 1000 USD. Jeez, that's 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 <laughs> that's not good. I've seen some 3070s actually get listed for like 700 dollars recently on eBay. I'm not usually in time to buy them though, and honestly, I don't have the money or purpose for that, so you know. <clears throat> um okay, so here is our result, I guess. Thirteen three hundred eighty frames rendered, average FPS eighty five um, 95% tile FPS is 90, uh, 70? Uh, GPU bound 5%. Okay. Let's look at Jared's results. Let's pull up his video. See how much faster the 3080 is. <coughs> Is it worth another four hundred dollars? Um, Tomb Raider. Cyberpunk, Red Dead Redemption, Call of Duty, Control, Valhalla, Legion, Fortnite. Oh, there it is. So, to at 1080p highest, uh, the 3080 is averaging 104 FPS versus 85. Huh. Are we actually at 1080p? Yeah. Well, that's surprising. I didn't think it'd make that big of a difference. Mine is after running lowest to highest presets, so maybe extra throttling less boost by that stage.
Yeah, but... I mean, my FPS is not better, is it? I don't... What? Are we looking at this average number here? I don't know which number we're looking at. Do I think the 36 is going to run cooler? No. Does seem a bit low, though. Yeah, it kind of does. Maybe Afterburner's messing with its calculation. Let me uh, turn that off. Also, let me look at Synapse, because I, I don't know if Synapse is... um. Is it configured right? Yeah, it's configured correctly. We'll kill Afterburner. If I can find it. What is this? Oh. Now I'll close synapse. Um SI afterburner I think is off now. Yep. Let's run the benchmark again. Could al could also reboot or something. I just got ninety four with external screen rebooted one one forty one FPS. <laughs> yeah, maybe that'll do it. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Maybe? Yeah, maybe. Maybe Afterburner was killing my FPS somehow. I don't know. Why is my camera lagging so bad? Oh, I don't have my light on. That's why. This seems higher, doesn't it? Like, it seems like we're in, like, a 190 spot now. We might have just had a bad run. I don't know. Rebooting to fix issues is so gamer. Yeah. You are correct. It is. While we're waiting, I'm going to get the G Pro set up. Ah! Awful noise. Holy receiver. <laughs> Don't know why it's that massive. What are these? C4, C5, C6. I'll reboot after this run if it's still low. Alright, well, I'm just going to use a little dongle, because I don't want to use this long cable. Also, let me see what these G things are for. I don't know. Are those, like, weird weights you can put in it, or are the buttons? Oh yeah, they are buttons. 
Oh, it doesn't have those. Yeah, that was a little higher. 89. Versus 104. That's still not very good, though. I, I... Huh. Yeah, let's just reboot. Oh! I don't have the updated NVIDIA drivers. That might be what it is. Did you update your drivers, Jared? Access with latest available at the time. Yes, yeah, so that's probably the problem then. Oh, so the G Pro, this is interesting. Uh, it has like different mouse click that you can define by just switching buttons. It's very strange. Certainly cooler than my G Pro that I got a while ago. Hey, Noth. <sighs> Bear with me here. Oh, am I being dumb? I am. It's for this side. Razer doesn't ship with latest driver. No, but most companies don't do that either. It's it's it would be infeasible for them to do that. It should have updated me, but it didn't, so that's okay. I can't fault them too hard for drivers. Alright, Tomb Raider, guys. I gotta get it going. Uh, we're at full charge. Oh, we're on better performance. Let's go to max performance, and then we'll go to system. And then performance... Did you have the CPU on boost? Because maybe that's what's screwing it up. Yeah, that's true. Mouse. Yeah, Jared, what, what did you test with? Did you test with boost or high on CPU? Do you remember? I had CPU boost on and GPU on high. Can't set max fan on custom. Yeah, I know it's really annoying. That's weird. I don't. I don't know why it would be not working the same for me. Well, let's try this again. I have the mouse plugged in. G Pro. It slides around, so that means it's good. means you can get headshots with it like a real gamer imagine not wanting four side buttons literal psychopath probably gonna have to reboot guaranteed 200 fps okay <laughs> is Tomb Raider just one of those weird games it might also I'm also running through the demo so maybe I don't know that has some might have some weird bottleneck in it somehow I, I who knows? I had a quick question. Currently looking for a new laptop, some design. Need something mainly for work and can run GTA on medium settings, low temp. Recommendations. 
What's your <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you serious? I didn't even update the drivers. Why is it better now? Whatever. Probably Windows. But the, this is way better frame rates already. Like, we were at like 120. Cursed. Cursed laptop. Cursed Husky. I don't know. Maybe I spoke too soon. I, I don't know. No clue. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Because that would be super bizarre. You find the results consistent with that game. Yeah, I mean, it should be. It's a benchmark, but I... I weird. I'm confused right now. To be honest. The fact that now I'm getting 100 FPS after just rebooting the computer. I don't think I had anything open, so... Maybe I just need to clean up more Windows Update stuff? That's possible. I wouldn't doubt it. Maybe some dependency hadn't installed, or maybe it was bugged. I got around 2K budget. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I mean. Uh, okay, so if you have like two grand, you want a slim design. You want something we're gonna GTA on medium settings, low temp. Uh, honestly, you're not going to have trouble finding something that can do that right now. I mean, even yeah, this can do that. This Razor Blade. Um, I don't know if I'd outright recommend this thing for that. And, uh, you know, I, it still has to hold up test of time in terms of quality. Um, but so far it's promising, but as is every computer. So, <clears throat> tell you what, uh, I would look at some of Jared's reviews of some of the slimmer laptops he's checked out, and uh, let me know uh, if there's a particular one that stands out, and uh, I'm more than happy to discuss it. I, I just don't really know. I heard another review speakers are pretty mediocre. Is that true? I mean, they clip really easy. They're loud, and they don't sound like godly, but um, I don't really care. Average FP, yeah, 94. That's way more reasonable. So 3080 gets 104, 3070 gets 94, and this is with, like, ancient GPU driver, I'm pretty sure. When was 466 released? Uh, NVIDIA. Oh, that's only from May. Okay, yeah, so this is probably fine. <coughs> but yeah, looks good. WSD keys are still cool. Computers warm up here, but don't touch there. I'm selling my Razer Blade with the Razer 13 1650 for $1,000. Legit just bought this one waiting for in the mail. It's a nice machine, user like experience wise. But look out for uh, like a uh, weirdly bent cable. Wish I could get this in focus. See how it's kind of tweaked. I can't show this very well. Come on. Are you serious? Camera's being jerk to me right now. Whatever. But yeah, cables bent 
in mind for some reason. I don't know why. <coughs> it just comes from the factory with a slight angle on it. There, you can see it clearly. It's a little lame, but, you know. You can always just ask Razor for a new one, and I'm sure they'll send you a new one. They've, I've never heard of them being particularly resistant to sending chargers, but then again, I don't know. Guys, we should use the eye tracking. Curse of Husky, yeah. Everything must be wrong in some way. <clears throat> I, don't, I hope my enclosure is not broken because I did download like five games on it for like two hours. And that might have fried it. I would not be surprised, uh, but I would be very sad. Doesn't have to be too slim, just something, not something too bulky. Make it look weird carrying around the backpack, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're fine with 15 inch stuff, there's like. Uh, it just really depends on what you're looking for. Two thousand dollars for like a good slim machine is a little tough sometimes, but uh, <sighs> I don't know. There's just not a lot of good slim gaming laptop options. Nothing too reliable, I would say. There's always stuff to try, um, but if you're if you're tight on two thousand, then I probably would just be careful <clears throat> of who you're buying from. I like this mouse. <laughs> Can't fault the peripheral. Um, what else do it, did I want to test before my enclosure decided to um, cut open its chest? Uh, is there anything you guys want to see? Is there anything you guys want me to download in like 10 minutes or something? Like, I, I don't know. I'm going to download BMG Drive at least because I, I want to... How do I... I can't play it. Oh, no. Yeah. Guys, damn it. Let's see if I can actually transfer it now or if it's going to keep freaking out. Where is it? Also, it's probably worth checking the um, aux, aux out with my IEMs at some point and seeing how good they are. <laughs> See if there's a lot of electrical noise or not, you know. I'm just going to copy this onto the desktop here. See if we can get 19 gigs before it dies. Stop bothering guys with my trouble. Hey, just join the Discord and we can chat about it later. It's fine. Don't worry about it. How's the vapor chamber this computer? My current setup is repaced with liquid metal. Is it possible to do it on this one? Is it, is it a straight copper plate to a CPU GPU contact? Uh, I would not liquid metal a um, vapor chamber laptop. <laughs> Whoops. Um, and the reason why I say that is because, um, you know, if it's literally just straight copper, I mean, you're, you're going to kill it, and I'm sure you're aware of that, and that's why you're asking. Um, but it, I, it's not worth the risk, and to actually know that, you'd have to talk to someone formed in the engineering of the device at the OEM, which at Razer, I mean, good luck. So, yeah, I, I would not do that. <clears throat> Guys, we're at 150. 13 megabytes per second right now on the broken enclosure. Well, in terms of uh, the Razer's perspective, broken. Um, I'm wondering if it's literally just the USB ports. But if both were broken, I'd be kind of surprised. And then again, my phone was perfectly stable, so it should be fine. Um, really hoping to see the performance difference between the 3060 and 3070 models. Yeah, I would like to see that as well. Um, I was considering getting the 3060, but I could only buy it from Razer.com, and it was like, eh, no, I don't really want to run that risk. So I, I just opted to get it off of Amazon instead so that I could return it really easily, and I just didn't want to deal with Razer's crap. So, um, Link is in the description for this machine, by the way, if, like, I 
clarified anything that made you want to buy the thing and you're okay with potential quality control concerns because uh razor is known for bulging batteries and poor quality overall so you might have to return once or twice and beware of uh, amazon banning you um <clears throat> but i mean it's there if you want it or if you at least want to see what the pricing is in the thing right now when i bought it it was listed at like 21 99 or something like that so this is a 2200 dollars machine that's sitting in front of us that can't connect to a 20 dollar <laughs> drive enclosure but uh that is how it be sometimes <clears throat> how's the keyboard do you think it's good enough to type for six hours a day on emails word documents that sort of thing i think the keyboard is quite accurate um and as a result i would say that uh i would be more than happy to type um on it i'll I might actually transfer my work stuff onto this machine, uh, but since my enclosure doesn't work with it, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, which is really sad, and that would be one of the reasons why I might have to return this computer, but also if I have a different enclosure that works with this, then you know, maybe I can get away with it, but uh, also I have to re... Is this actually just transferring at like slow speeds, or is the drive just frozen? I think it's definitely just frozen. <laughs> come on, drive, come back. And back up to good speeds. Do I have a bad sector on this drive? That would really be bad. I wouldn't be surprised, though. I didn't actually test um, the SSD with the games installed on it before going live, so it's possible that the SSD is literally just broken. Which would also be depressing, because it's I paid a lot for it a while ago, because it's got good NAND and everything. <sighs> going to get some lunch bye i right, see you later jared is 14 inch enough for gaming i, I think so All right, let's try to copy this one more time. And success. Weird. Wow, it's really unhappy. <laughs> Ooh, I, I think it is a heat-related thing. Maybe it's ther like thermal shutdown in there. I'll let it cool off for a second. Let's actually just... It doesn't feel hot anywhere. Oh yeah, I gotta remount it again. And try again. And now good speeds. Whoo, wow, that's faster than it was before. It might just be the cable. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it might be, actually. Weird. And then we'll finally be able to play the game that whenever I play it, everyone leaves. <laughs> uh, BMG Drive. Ready to launch. Okay, can we start, please? Oh, it's verifying files, probably. Oh, crap. No, no. Stop. All right. So I have it on the desktop now, I'm pretty sure. So I can just kind of copy this. Go here. Go to C drive. Program files. Um, Steam apps. Paste.
Yeah, this is a fast drive. One gigabit gigabyte per second. Jeez. Fast drive, man. <laughs> Hauling. Then it settles down while it copies little files. Okay. Yep. All right. Replace all that. Okay. Let's see if this will run now. All right. No. Here we go. Do you feel you are missing any features not having Thunderbolt in resin? Uh, no, because I don't use any Thunderbolt stuff, really. Uh, I mean, the main thing I'd be missing out on is Thunderbolt SSD enclosures, but that's literally it. Um, other than that, I don't really care. There's not really any really good Thunderbolt accessories except, like, docks, but, I mean... You can just use USB with alt mode to do the same thing. So it's not really, I don't think it's that big of a deal, but, um, some people, some people think it's important. So <coughs> your, your move there for sure. If you care or not, let's go to Utah. Actually, no. We'll, we'll go to a more intensive map. We'll go to East Coast, USA. That has a lot of trees and stuff. We'll start Afterburner again. Even though apparently that has a performance penalty, which I wasn't aware of. <clears throat> so... Uh, I have a ping in SAL, Prime Day chat. All right, so. Turn the screen brightness down just a little bit. And uh, yeah. So right now we're running at 90 FPS or so. And nothing's pinned. So about like this is about as good as it'll be on uh, this game at least. For Beam and G Drive. <coughs> Performance wise. About 90 FPS. But actually where are the shadows? Why does the lighting look weird? Oh, it's because I have dynamic reflection off. Well, we'll change that. And yeah, that should do it. Let's get a better car. Now we're at like 70 FPS because we have um <coughs> the higher graphics settings on. Is the display matte or glossy? The display is matte. You can tell by not seeing my face anytime I um, go to a black screen. Um, and just especially the lack of glare on the screen. Because usually I have issues with glossy laptops and my lighting setup not really wanting to work together. So um, in general, matte is a little better if you're in kind of blatantly... Uh, sorry brightly lit spaces but um you know that's also a matter of preference too do i have an insert key i do um how do i access it what how do, <laughs> how do i access the insert key what Okay, this is weird. So the keyboard, you can see we have delete insert right here and we have the print screen. So I'll hold down FN and you can see the delete insert key goes dark and I can't hit insert, but I'm sure delete works fine. So what? 
Because insert, insert in this game rewinds, and it's not rewinding. Weird. Also, power button on the keyboard. No, not approved. Don't like that. <clears throat> but that's just a design choice thing, so, yeah. Personal preference on that matter in terms of repairability and longevity, because, uh, Essentially, if the keyboard gets damaged, the power button won't work anymore, so careful not to spill on it. Doesn't look like this laptop has a quick uh, touchpad disable button, um, which, you know, would be nice to have. Display is 1440p? Yeah. Can you set the CPU performance to medium just to check the temperature and FPS? Yeah, so the CPU is at 80 right now. And I'll open up Synapse. <coughs> We're also running at like 24 watts. And I mean, it's not really working that hard. We'll set the CPU to medium. I mean, the thing is, the fans are not working that hard right now. Because we're only pulling a lot on the GPU. Um, so it's not going to make that big of a thermal difference to just limit that to what it's already running at. In this game, I guess you can kind of get away with limiting the CPU a fair bit. So yeah, we're still like ADC anyway. Only thing that would be affected is if we were in a more CPU heavy title, like uh, like Battlefield or something. But, you know, you'd think, oh, well, a physics simulator with cars. That would be really CPU intensive. It's really not. I mean, let's get a bigger car. Well, b bigger vehicle. We'll get, like, a bus. And that will put... Yeah, this is considerably more CPU load, I think. Actually, no, it's not. It's, <laughs> it's not really that much more. But if we go back to the car we had, actually, let, let's get something a, a little more fun. Get the electric SBR. And then if I g spawn vehicles for traffic. <coughs> you see yourself misclicking backspace and hitting the power button. Yeah. Uh, let's see what happens if I do that. Nothing. Okay. All right. So default operation is um, don't kill the video game when you hit the power button, which I appreciate that. <clears throat> we should also try to crash the computer with like a GPU overclock and see if I can force shut down the power. I'm sure it'll work, but. but yeah, so now we're actually stressing things out. Um, and the CPU is getting power limited to about 35 watts and, you know, we're at like 82 C now, but if I turn on boost mode, now we're at like 40 watts, a little bit more. And actually we're at about the same. This game's not a very good benchmark, by the way. It's not meant to be like the most optimal game title ever. It's just meant to be. Yeah, like an ac accurate vehicle crash simulator fun sandbox title with eventually a campaign. So <clears throat> there's that at least. Um, I want to hear fan noise. Is there any coil wine? Let's check. There's some slight fan whistle. But I'm not picking up any notable coil line or anything, so. Should be good. <coughs> looks looks pretty good to me. <coughs> in terms of that. So uh yeah, that's good. Um, do you guys have any other questions right now? Anything pressing? Or um, are things pretty much good to go um, in terms of what you guys had questions on? Because I, I gave you a general um, 
game performance indication with uh, the Tomb Raider thing. It's like 90 versus 100, so like 10% loss and performance by going to 3070 in games. <clears throat> Which, you know, I was kind of expecting that the 3070 would almost match, but it makes actually a pretty considerable difference, um, this chassis, so that's that's neat. It might also be a matter of, like, overclock or something, but <coughs> can always investigate. <coughs> Fan noise seems fine, but that whistle, though. Yeah, but most fans do. Yeah, I can actually hear it. But that that's when I have, like, my headphones off. If I had, like, my IEMs in or, like, headphones or something, it wouldn't be that noticeable. So um, I, I, w I will say it's not that bad. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Roadblock. <laughs> Oh no, they got me. Just kidding. They'll never catch me. Oh. Come on, we can get out of here. We're good. Nope. Oh, this, the stability control is screwing us. Turn it off. Oh, stop. <laughs> you gotta go. They'll never catch us over here. What is happening? <laughs> Car is jacked up. You gotta get turned around for the cops show up. No. Ah. Uh. Uh oh, Roblox. Yeah, we got busted. Oh yeah, people always ask about Roblox. Um, yeah, so we gotta try Roblox, guys. Um, what 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 Roblox are we gonna play? Oh, I should unplug my drive so that I don't like crash the computer oh boy this part of the palm rest got pretty warm when we were playing that thought that was worth noting it's actually considerably warm it's very weird I don't know why that would be getting so hot I, I don't I don't know what my password is for my Roblox account. Something tells me it's like way too secure. Let's just make a new account. Actually quick login. Oh. Guys, we're a new Roblox, sir. We're going to be Roblox. <laughs> Guys, we're Johnny Test. How loud are the fans during low intensity tasks like note taking or watching YouTube? I don't want noise to annoy people next to me during a lecture. That's a good question. Uh, we'll have to check that out here. Oh, we also have to check out Hardware Info 64 um, temperature. Um, no, power consumption. I think the Blade 14 you're using is better picked than the 15 advanced model. 
370. I think the 15 advanced model will probably have like more performance, but I don't know if the 2020 advanced models are more reliable. So apparently the 2019 RTX advanced models were really good. So it's possible it'll be good, but uh, I don't know. So we're going to go and play a fun video game. By fun, I mean I'm going to play Roblox. I don't know what game is. Yeah, let's play Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition. <sighs> Survive the killer. Guys, we got to play Pacifico. That sounds awesome. Play a giant obby with super high render distance. I don't have, I don't know which obby to play, can we? They don't have obbies anymore. All it is is obby for Minecraft. I'll, um,. We'll be testing the fan noise, but uh, if you look at Notebook Check's review, let me look at their data real quick. Um, Blade 14. Emissions. They didn't take a measurement while they were... Um, Fans may even idle during very low loads, like word processing, for a silent experience. These low noise modes make it possible to use a Blade 14 in sensitive environments like classrooms or conferences, just like any other Ultrabook. Um, so basically, if you're in Balanced or Power Saver, it's going to be quiet. Um... Fans would typically settle around 31 decibels or lower during simple tasks like browsing or streaming to be audible but not distracting. The fans may even idle during very low loads like word processing. Okay, yeah. So like if you're streaming something, maybe the fans will kick on. I'll have to get my uh, sound meter out and test this when it's quiet um, at some point soon with like the air conditioning off and everything. But uh I don't have a specific number for you other than apparently 31 decibels, which is basically the sound floor. Oh, I got kicked for having too new of an account. I can't play Pacifico, guys. Can I play Murder Mystery 2? Okay, we're going to play Murder Mystery. <clears throat> it's going to be so awesome. Looks like we're frame locked at 60 right now. And I'm going to have to end the stream here soon, by the way, because I've been streaming for three hours and I'm getting kind of tired of streaming. <sighs> Set this to max. Um... Okay, I guess that's all we get. Yeah, we're locked at 60. Yeah, we're... I mean, this does not even look good. Looks like garbage. Yeah, this, this will run Roblox fine. Cool, Roblox works. Um, anything else you guys want to test before we do like battery stuff and then call it? <clears throat> Old versions. Staller. There we go. We'll also check the display model too, because uh, that's interesting. Uh, synapse. Oh yeah, on battery, we want to go unbalanced, okay. 
and uh, once we're here we'll just double check that everything's present there okay <laughs> so now let's unplug the battery oh wall power and I'll close steam and afterburner and stuff because we don't need that And I'll set this to better battery. So right now, whew, our charge rate is negative 5.6 watts, like immediately at idle here, which is pretty good. It's hard to see that. Yeah. Yeah, so that's th we're having like five watts of consumption doing basically nothing but running sensor monitors right now. So I'm going to go and show graph here. And oh, crap, I forgot. Yeah, that it minimizes together. So I kind of have to just move this out of the way. I'll fire up Edge because this is basically Chrome. And we'll go to you. Stop. YouTube. And I'll look at a 4K60 test. Now, sent. Oh, great. Uber Eats, my favorite. That was awesome. So I'm going to set this to 1440p, and we're going to open up stats, and then I'm also going to just have this open, and I'm going to make this negative 15, 16, 20. All right, all right, 20. Loop, mute, there we go. All right, so <coughs> I think we're probably running on integrated and we're consuming about, to watch this 1440p content at 60 FPS, we're consuming, we'll just let this average out here. I'll also go in here and reset the timer. Don't know if I should pick the 2x SSD SD card slot upgradable RAM with a 14 30% smaller and lighter build 12 hour battery and Ryzen 5000. Really waiting for a Blade 14 lighter build. And I also want to know which one's quieter. I should note, guys, um, Lenovo has a uh, Legion 7, like Slim 7 that they just released, which has Ryzen and like 3060, 3070, and. Um, I think it has like one RAM slot that's upgradable and I think two SSDs. I might be wrong though. Um, <clears throat> so that might be worth checking into. I haven't seen how good the thermals are on that thing, but it looks like it could be pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty slim machine in general. It's kind of similar to the um, some of the idea pads that they have that are more performance oriented. Um, <clears throat> if you're looking for something more like that, otherwise... Yeah, I mean you can try the Razer stuff out. Some of it's some of the newer stuff seems to have all right quality control compared to some of the older stuff. I'm just kind of apprehensive about recommending someone buy a product from a company that's you know had bad quality control in the past. You know, I don't know which one is quieter. Yeah. If Notebook Check has reviews on both of them, you can just look at their fan data, and that'll give you a general idea of which is quieter. 
<clears throat> That's what I would recommend you do. Do you guys like the thumbnail, by the way? Try a new design this time around. Man, this metal does get fingerprinty, that's for sure. Great. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. So we've been sampling for like two minutes now and we're averaging around 10.67 watts. So YouTube battery, probably if we're assuming 10.5 and we've got a 61 watt hour battery and 10.5, we should assume we're going to get like six or seven hours of YouTube playback at 1440p. But this is not equivalent to my 1080p test. So let's make this 1080p. And then we'll reset everything. Now that we're at 1080p, we can see if it's more fair now that we're running at 1080p compared to 1440p. Because 1440p is a lot more uh, data to deal with. <clears throat> Nine watt of average on YouTube. That's horrible. Well, it's like ten point six. Um, but that's also at fourteen forty p again. Now that we're at ten eighty p, it's more like seven point six. Right now, seven point five. It's going down six point nine right now. Okay, so like seven point two. Which, if we're at 7.2, that would put us around 8 or 9 hours of YouTube playback at 1080p. So probably, realistically, seven and a half, eight 8 hours of run on YouTube. Um, if we're considering spike loads and random crap happening. So, yeah, it's 7, 8 hours. Optimistic. <coughs> yeah, efficiency is improved a fair bit um, just in general I mean it, it's the thing is this is 7 watts with like a 5 watt idle so that's like 2 or 3 watts in the CPU and the rest of it's just like hardware stuff I mean if I turn the keyboard off it might even save us some <coughs> some watts here and give us another like hour of runtime or something I could even adjust you know the screen or maybe set the screen to 60 Hertz I mean there's there's a lot of stuff the screen realistically you could probably stretch the runtime out just by changing that which let me let me see if I can do that through the radio software see if I can get the display to drop to 60 um, it is free sync on and very bright um, can I not adjust the... Okay, I have the same panel as Jared. Okay. Oh, well, okay. I guess I can't adjust the uh, that to 60 hertz through there, but that's okay. It also seems to have uh, angered the beast to launch that software. So <laughs> let's wait for that to settle down. I think it's probably just pulling a bunch of stuff. Yeah, there we go. Woke up the GPU or something. But yeah, so based on what I'm seeing, we're going to probably expect, again, like eight hours, seven, eight hours, YouTube playback at 1080p. This is also at uh, like 50% brightness, so which I mean, this looks more like 240, 230 nit than anything else. So good job, Razer, on the battery efficiency on this thing. Oh, and that's also with a uh, 
mouse dongle plugged in. I didn't actually take that out. So um, if I took that out, it might actually be a little bit more efficient. Who knows? But yeah, so that's battery. Anything else you guys want me to look at? <clears throat> Any last minute stragglers of anything? Wonder if this fits over the existing logo. Oh, that's not very, that's not cut very close, is it? Oh, but it's, it's transparent, so it's okay. Come on, get off of there. Nope, that's too small. That's sad. I was hoping that would be the exact right size to cover the uh, <laughs> one on the laptop, but it's too small. All right, well, if there's no like last-minute stuff anyone wants me to talk about, I'll just call it here. Um, I hope the stream was uh, useful to somebody. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord. I have links to the product in the description. Uh, if you want to see internals, I'll just show the internals real quick uh, with a screen share. We'll just go to a notebook check image because it's going to be better than I can realistically show you. Um, some notable stuff here. They tell you to power off the computer before removing the SSD. Cool. Here's the battery pack. This side got kind of warm, so I'm assuming this SSD was just getting really hot <laughs> which would make sense um, and that would heat up the rest of the laptop here we have the speakers we have the BIOS battery CMOS battery we have the Wi-Fi card antennas um, where's our aux port do we have an aux port yeah it's by charger side Right, so that w okay, that's over here. Oh, but it's by the Wi-Fi side. Ah, uh, well, at least the circuit's far away from it. Um, here's the big old vapor chamber, VRMs, fans, the vents, hinges. That's not very well screwed down, but it also looks like riveted. No, that's just a standoff. Okay. Oh, n it's fine. It's probably fine. Right. Yeah, it's meh. It's fine. It's a 14-inch laptop. The hinges are not that tight. It's probably okay. Whoops. Decided on the thumbnail yet. What do you mean? I have a thumbnail. You mean... What do you mean? Thanks for the amazing stream. Yeah, no problem. What are your final thoughts? Worth it or No. I don't know yet. Um, I would say that if I don't have any problems going forward and I wasn't worried about quality control, I would say that's a very good 14-inch laptop, very good 14-inch gaming laptop, uh, assuming, again, that there's no caveats that I run into later on. Um, overall, I'm impressed. I thought it was going to be kind of like a fail product from Razer when it initially launched. But initial benchmarks pro proved me wrong, and I decided to see for myself. And sure enough, it is better than I thought it was. So, if you do have any questions, again, Discord. You can hit me up there. Leave a comment below if you're watching the VOD on YouTube. Um, uh, I will be contacting Razer about the charging cable, and I'll let you know in the comments if they send me a new one. And if it's also broken, uh, thoughts are just, yeah, it looks, it's nice. It's not that bad of a value at the price point, which, you know, it's still, again, like $2,200, but it's $2,200 and better than the G14 performance.
performance wise and in general so um if you're gonna go for a g14 you might want to consider buying this especially if you're gonna get one of the white the white ones with like you know that whole business but yeah is that a review unit nope this is a unit i purchased so um no no influence from razor here um Jared has a review unit, but I mean he's as independent as it comes, so don't worry about him either. Um, but yeah, it's it's a production retail sample um, that I purchased with my own money without contacting Razor beforehand. So um, all the defects that I like the only defect again. I don't know if you were here the whole time. The charger is not straight. It's crooked. It's weird. Um, that's the only thing I ran into that was actually wrong. So. That's a good sign. Usually when I get stuff, it's broken. So, you know, if it's just a charger, I can't really cry too hard. So <clears throat> I'll be eating that Discord for sure. Trying to get a decent slim laptop. Might need your help. Stream was amazing. Thanks. Yeah, I'm glad I was able to help you, man. Be sure to chat in later, and uh, I'll see if I have time. I have to do some work tonight, so I probably won't be too active in the Discord. But, um, you know, I'm there if you need me, I guess. Razor always has something, yeah. <laughs> Everyone always has something. But yeah, that's it for uh, the stream. Uh, any last questions, be sure to just ask me on Discord, and I'll get back to you maybe later tonight, maybe tomorrow. Um, yeah, all that stuff's in the description. Check it out. Stream's over. Uh, I'll see you guys later.